Timmy Global Health works with students all over the world and medical professionals and they work together to serve the people who are in countries that lack the most access and in areas that are in the highest need. In the beginning we were using paper, um, that was for the first few years. Um, I didn't see any big problems with that in the beginning. The humidity is not very forgiving down here <laughs> and I literally picked up a piece of paper from the year prior and my finger just went right through it. So um, the paper was literally, the records were disintegrating in front of us and that was only after a year. Just like in the United States when, we're when we used to have to work from a paper chart, the first thing you have to do is interpret the doctor's writing, um, which is always difficult. I think one of the biggest challenges with organizations like ours is being able to keep track of data and really having solid concrete evidence that we're working and improving the way that people are living their lives in the communities. Immediately as soon as I stepped on the ground I was like wow software could revolutionize the process. I mean it wasn't practical at the time we would need to bring hardware down here, we would need power. I obviously had a day job, I went back to it but in my spare time I was coding for Timmy Care. To be honest, I was kind of skeptical at first. I was thinking, you know, we're going to bring in this technology from the States because we think that's what we need to do. Last year was a bit of a challenge. Um, it was the original kind of Timmy Care, and um, it wasn't, it was essentially like a scanned in form of the paper document, and it was actually really frustrating to use. So I obviously went on the next brigade a year later, um, and I deployed a newer version of the software, and it worked even better, but my backpack got stolen on that trip, so I was stuck in the country for three weeks. But in those three weeks, I was able to write a lot of software that we actually run currently as opposed to um, the prototype software I wrote my year in Seattle. When I got here it was it was literally amazing it was uh, it was a completely different system it looked nothing like the old one. So it's been an absolute dream to come down this year and use the kind of new Timmy Care system it's made things faster. When patients first arrive to the clinic they're greeted by a health promoter and they're registered with a number. From there they go to the history station where student volunteers ask them what their chief complaint is. And from there they go to the vitals or the lab station. From the vital station the patient goes to see the physician. The doctor can already go ahead and submit the prescription while the patient is still there being seen and addressing other complaints. By the time that our patient comes out their prescriptions are most likely already ready for them in pharmacy and all we have to do is counsel them on the directions of how to take the medication and see if they have any questions. The patients, you know, are much happier because they don't have to sit around and wait for a long time. So one of the most exciting things about Timmy, beyond just making the brigade or the clinic efficient, is the data we collect. Being able to mine that data and know exactly what we need for each area is going to make it invaluable for us to get the right medications to the right place at the right time. But it also lets us partner with organizations and share data. A couple of students and I are going to go back after this trip actually and uh, actually look and see how many of these illnesses are caused by water, water issues and get an actual number and get actual facts about these things to see if there are communities that can benefit from a clean water initiative. And it's going to help us gather the data we need for Bedwater to be able to show people that here's what the problem is, here's what you can do. We can track certain types of diseases this way. Um, and then see if we make an intervention, what happens over long term. I, I just think it's a unique, beautiful system that should have been created long ago. And I just think that's something that any organization that's really involved in what they're doing in a different com in, in rural settings in developing countries really needs to take a look at how they, they gather their data and look into something like Timmy Care.